All right, so there's no better way to have the youth voice out their problems than on a platform where they can really talk about everything happening in and around the country. That's my way of welcoming you to today's edition of Talk Politics Tuesday with me, Magman. Thanks a lot for tuning in, and I hope you enjoy every bit of the show. Now, today, the topic on board for discussion is that the Kwabena jailbreak that recently took Ghana by surprise and matters arising. Recently, I heard that the family of the dead policeman are demanding for a state barrier together with other issues that have cropped up as a result of this incident. I can't sit here and do the discussion all by myself. I have on the line with me three energetic gentlemen. You're going to help me to discuss the topic. I have on phone Francis Tay Jr. He is a uh, student of Regional Maritime University, as well as a uh, clearing agent at the Temahaba. I also have online Nana Ampofu. He is an alumnus of the University of Ghana Business School. He's also going to help me discuss the topic. Papis Kito is also on the line. He is a student of the Methodist University of Ghana. Thank you very much for joining me, gentlemen. Welcome. You're welcome. Hey, I hope you can all hear me clearly. Right, so I'm starting with you, Francis. I I want to get your views on this topic. We we had I think two weeks ago that um, a, a group of armed robbers, okay, broke into the Kwabena police station, shot a policeman dead, and then freed seven of the inmates in the. There are so many issues arising as a result of this. Who is to blame? That is the question most people are asking, Francis. First, give us your, your beginning words on the topic. All right. Thank you very much. And a very good evening to all and your listeners alike. Right. And a good evening to my colleagues in right. your studio. Right. Yeah. Um, the topic on board is the Pagonia jailbreak and matters arising. And you're asking who is to be blamed for this whole issue. Yes. Well, if you ask who is to be blamed, I... I'm a bit confused about who the blame should go to. Okay. Someone may say it should go to the government. Mm -hmm. Someone may say it should go to the police. Mm -hmm. I think the blame should go to the police. Okay. Because, yeah, they are working for the government. They are under the supervision of the government. Mm -hmm. But then again, I believe that government here does not only mean the president or his vice or his minister. Mm -hmm. That is why they are heads. Okay. who have been delegated to be in charge of the stations and all other institutions belonging to the government. Right. Therefore, I think those who are there should be held responsible for those any action that goes stations. on there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Why am I saying this? Mm -hmm. I'm saying this because at the time the issue occurred or the incidents happened, mm -hmm. Personally, I'm not so privy to the information, mm -hmm. but I learned there was one police officer on duty at the moment. Yes. And he was attacked by some armed robbers and he was shot dead. Exactly. And the robbers free their colleagues. Yes. Yeah. So why I'm thinking the police should be blamed is one, I don't know if the dead police officer was the only person on duty, but if he was only on duty, Mm -hmm. Then my point is that the police should be blamed because they are station officers and commanders and all kind of leaders they would need there mm -hmm. to be in charge of that. So they are supposed to know the number of people who will be there at a particular time right. and what they are supposed to be doing. Right, right. So, so yeah. your your beginning statement would be that the policemen are supposed to be blamed for whatever happened at Kwabinya, right? Yeah. All yeah. right. So hold your thoughts there. Nana, I'll come to you and then ask you of your opinion on the topic, um, the Kwabena jailbreak and matters arising. Who is to blame, actually? Like Francis said, the policemen are to blame, according to him, because the, the uh, only one policeman cannot be on duty at that point in time of the incident. But I, I, I did a little research and I, I read that a bread seller closer to the Kwabena police station actually aided the robbers to free their men out of jail. How did she do this? She she transported her phone. Let, let me use the word smuggled. She smuggled her phone into the cell. 
and and gave the phone to one of the inmates in there and my first thing there would be how does that woman get access to the cell without any policeman getting to know that this woman is giving a phone to an inmate in there now, now let me take your beginning statement on the topic Right. Good evening, Mark, and a good evening, Anna. Right. Uh, this is a very pressing issue that it is very disturbing mm -hmm. in this country. Right. Let's ask ourselves, mm -hmm. how come we have gotten this far? Mm -hmm. It's an adage in the local language. Mm -hmm. We need to friends fighting. What happened yesterday? Mm -hmm. It's not always about what happened today right. or what is currently going on. You should ask what is the beginning of all this. Right. On the days of the Delta forces, mm -hmm. the days of the Mississippi forces, mm -hmm. the Bulga Bulldogs, the Avoca Boys, we have men who think that they have, they have power over and above all other authority in this land. Right. Just because they have, they have political affiliation. Sure. And they, they are thinking just because we are linked to the government, mm -hmm. no one has a power over us. Mm -hmm. How come people were able to free people from the court room mm. away from the grips of the police? Right. Just because there are people in, in government who are supporting them and they are backing them. Right. So we cannot shift the blame from the government. We are people in government who, who are seeing these things and they are silent on them. Mm -hmm. And they are people that manipulating the security services just because they are positioned and they, they have other things, they are power. And we can't take the blame away from the government. Right. If people from my party okay. call themselves invisible forces mm -hmm. are able to take people away from the hands of the police, then we are getting the impression that our police services are weak. Right. And that criminals have the power to invade the police station mm -hmm. and then do whatever they, 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 they want to do. This, this, this is the first time I am telling this. Hmm. Armed robbers are moving to the police station and they are going to free their police. Just yeah. because the invisible forces have created the impression that our services are weak, our civilian services, our, our personnel are weak. And because they are political backing, nothing can be done to them. Right. So we can't take the blame away from the government. Right. The so, government should take the blame. Right. So Nana, you are blaming it on the government because according yeah. to you if the, there are no bigger men supporting these people they wouldn't do whatever they are doing in the country right now yeah. is that what you're right so Papis, yeah. let me come to you nana has said his part francis has also said his part francis is blaming it on the policemen at or on duty at that particular moment and generally the police service but nana is blaming it on the government and big men supporting these uh, groups that are, are rising day in, day out uh, to, to, to cause mayhem in the country. Papi, what is your take on the topic? Um, good evening. Right. And good evening to everyone, to right. and your listeners. Right. You know, it's very sad news. And my deepest condolence to the deceased family. Right. And I believe this should be a wake-up call, not only to the police, but to the entire enforcement. Right. We all know police as a security play a central role in the enforcement system. Mm -hmm. You know, like responding to emergency calls, monitoring criminals' activities, and protecting rights. Mm -hmm. But instead of providing safety and security, as I said it earlier, mm -hmm. most of them are turned around to the very ones barring us, extorting on no money from us. Mm -hmm. in, in fact, you know, uh, we have. Like we have lost trust in them. Tell me, where did the rebels get the gun from? Okay. Hmm. Who should we blame? Is it the police or the government? Yes, that is the question I'm asking now. Yeah, and as we know, as we know, police, your duty is is for you to monitor the criminal activities. Mm -hmm. Hope you understand me. Right. Yeah, and 